Welcome Broke Ass Forge. I'm Brennan and I'll be your host. I'd like to show you around a little bit. I got a few things. Everything's a little cheap or handmade. I got a drill press. I think I paid 15 bucks for that. A chop saw. Paid $10 for that. There's my forge that I constructed out of an old propane tank. As you can see, it gets plenty hot. Just melted out the, the bottom plate here a couple times. Running off of anthracite premium nut coal from Tractor Supply. There's an air pipe that comes down. Goes to a, a bucket head shop vac. The ones that you put on a five gallon bucket. I got it sitting in a little basket just to keep too much stuff from getting in there and it falling over and all that fun stuff. Here's my anvil. Used a railroad track that I got from the local salvage yard and a sledgehammer head as my fullering tool. Got a couple layers of wood, goes down onto a grinder stand and then attaches to a tire. Tire I like because the slots in the rim, perfect place to put your, your hammers. Sit in there nice, put this up the way. Keeps everything organized. One central location. Got a few hammers there. Everything was either bought from secondhand store, yard sales, or self-constructed hand-me-downs. Fun stuff. Got a couple pair of tongs here that I've made. Third pair that I'm working on. It's the first pair I made. It's kind of rough. Used a, actually an old screw. If we can get this thing to focus. Ooh, focus. As my rivet. These ones, the second pair of tongs I made. Same thing as the rivet, an old screw. Chopped down and beat in there. Here's the third pair I'm working on. Made from a three quarter inch rebar. These were made from half inch rebar. And this was made from three eighths round stock. Oop, dropped them. Don't have a vise or anything yet. I've just been using, well, crescent wrenches and pliers to do any twist that I want to do. Up here I got my, my rake made from the same kind of rebar, three quarter, or no, these are the three eighths inch rebar. My poker, little shovel, pretty basic setup, gets the job done. Got a couple little dilly whoppers I'm goofing around with over here. Uh, my original tongs, which helped me make everything prior to making those other two pairs of tongs. Channel locks, they're great. Get yourself some if you don't have tongs. Uh, my original air supply, air max pump, it worked somewhat. The brand of coal I use, because where I live there's no other coal available and I didn't have the means to build a propane forge and I didn't feel like paying for propane, it's kind of expensive. Basic little setup, nice little, nice little area. You, know, you don't need much to get started, just the will to want to.